banking elites drop bombshell. Silver and gold flying high. This issue is particularly important today as we've seen gold and silver climbing. Wow, it is so exciting. Let's start. This is an article from Bloomberg. And it tells us that German inflation slows further as ECB readies June rate cut. Now, that sounds positive. But what's really happening will have a ripple effect throughout our country. To understand this, we need to look at the yuan and the yen. Both currencies are at the edge of a cliff. Consumers' prices rose an annual 2.3% last month. This is according to this Bloomberg article. 2.3% last month, according to this the statistics office. This is data from Germany. And that is down from 2.7% in February. Food costs were a key driver of the slowdown. This is quite similar to the consumer price index here in the States. It's quite similar. Look, we are in a global economy. So when inflation goes a certain way in another country, then we... In the U.S., we are likely to follow suit. That's the struggle of the global economy. The global economy has many benefits, right? We get a lot of our products for great prices. The global economy has many benefits, but we are tied together in this web. So when something happens in another country, like Germany, it's going to come to us, come back to us. The article states, the overall picture is still that of a broad weakening, allowing the ECB to prepare investors for a first reduction in borrowing costs in June. <clears throat> Data that is due Wednesday are expected to show a dip to 2.5%. The part that we forget is that central bankers typically work together. They typically work together if they're going to begin to have divergent policies, and they will have a horrific impact on currency values. When one country decides to be a cowboy and change, cut their rates without the others following, it, it throws everything off balance. And that's why everybody is staring at Switzerland, as recently they cut their rates before the United States. Let's continue. Bloomberg says in Germany, companies are planning to raise their prices, particularly in consumer-related industries. The IFO Institute said on Tuesday, an index of such expectations fell to the lowest level in three years in March. The article says, a lingering concern is labor, market resilience, and the resulting large gains in wages that could keep underlying inflation elevated for longer. Confirmation of a moderation in pay increases will only arrive slowly, prompting most officials to exclude a recount in next week's policy meeting. The issue is that we need to focus it, we need to focus on what's coming to the currency markets. That that's the real issue. What's going on in Germany and how their policymakers react, the reality is that they're going to get a lot worse here. And this specifically hits currency and our currency. This is here's another this is another Bloomberg article that states Germany's manufacturing PMI is down to 41.9 from 42.5. The manufacturing sector is contracting. Factory job cuts are deepening. This is something that has been coming for a long time, and this certainly, it'll hit here in the United States. We don't live in a bubble. A global economy means that, that, it means that everything is interconnected. And the key part, the article states this on Bloomberg, the, the key part is the drop in the headline PMI in March it did mask slower decreases in both new orders and output. So that that being said, the latest declines remain sharp overall. This is according to this Bloomberg article. These are reports still weak, uh, still weak demand conditions at home and abroad. Export sales continue falling steeply at the end of the first quarter. Although, uh, sorry, although the rate of decline was the weakest for 11 months, that is the evidence we see that the labor market. It, the labor market is about to go. That That's what shows us. All of these drops, all these low, low numbers, central bankers are always hyper-focused on wage increases. We all are focused on wage increases. We, as normal, regular, everyday people that wake up and we are part of the workforce, of course, we also are focused on wage increases. But if demand goes away, then demand for your currency also goes away. That's a massive problem. Typically, typically, Hourly wages follow inflation, but employees want their workers to be able to purchase products. If unemployment starts to move higher, the ECB will begin to cut rates and start to stabilize the global currency markets. Now, of course, of course that that will result in the dollar heading higher. This is how the dollar gets messed with from what goes on in other countries like Germany. This article says that ECB warned last week 
against pulling too much emphasis on salaries, putting too much on. It said the euro's fragile economy needs workers pay to catch up with prices in order to sustain the kind of recovery they hoped will gradually take hold. What happens after monetary easing begins is unclear, just as we're seeing here in our country. Several officials have stressed the need to remain data dependent and judge developments on meeting by meeting basis, even as others appear to back more rapid loosening. Central bankers in Europe are struggling with the same quantitative easing that we are here in the States. It's the same thing. I've said this before. We are in new territory with quantitative tightening, quantitative e- quantitative easing. This is new territory because we've never done this on such a massive, enormous scale. No one really knows how to pull out, how this is going to work, how we're, you know, as we pull out and we try to have this soft landing. Really, the reality is that central bankers are just telling us to hold our nose and jump in the deep end and hope that we could swim. And what it tells us, you and I as silver snaggers, tells us that to be our own bank is really the smartest thing to do. I mean, look at silver, not this silver, but just generic. Look at silver today. Silver is at tw- over $27 today. We haven't seen that in a long time. We've been waiting for silver to jump. It is finally jumping. And it, it tells me that that what we are doing is in the right path. Rather than waiting for these elites in the banking world to make their decisions and do this balancing act, I say, and I, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just, I'm just a regular guy stacking silver. I say, be your own bank and and stack precious metals as much as you can even though silver is at $27 it's that's still within within reach absolutely gold gold went past i can't even say it it's so exciting gold went past $2300 there was like 2310 when i checked today i mean i i did not i did not see that coming so we are absolutely doing the right thing and as as these as these moves play out with quantitative easing and and uh, that happening uh, abroad in in Europe as well as here, we are really going to see uh, this balancing act hopefully come to a landing without the dollar really being impacted. So I I've been in I've been stacking silver for years and I'm still in it. If you asked me a year ago, I was feeling, I definitely was feeling down about stacking because we were in such a lull. Silver was stacking up for so long. And now to see that price finally go up and move up. I mean, this has been a couple of days now. This has been a great week for silver price moving up and up. Uh, If you ask me, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my opinion. Do not cash out. Everybody loves to cash out when they see that bump in price. Don't do it. Hold that silver and definitely do not cash out gold. Oh my gosh. I'm still seeing it constantly. People cashing out gold. And now that it's past 2300 I everyone is so excited. They're running to their local coin shop. They're cashing out. You know, I actually saw uh, one of these, I'm not going to say the name of the bullion dealer online, one of these large online bullion dealers that a big advertisement that popped up on my screen. And it said, uh, don't miss out. And then it said, gold, $2,300 an ounce. Don't miss out. That's exactly what you need to be trained by YouTubers like me are telling you, ignore that. Just smile at it because you know it's so silly. Do not jump in and and buy as this as gold is increasing. This is not the time to buy. It's not the time to cash out. Just hold. That's what we do. We just hold it and we just watch this price go up and it's going to go up. It's supposed to. Silver and gold are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to climb. They're supposed to plateau. And then climb again, plateau, climbing just a staircase. That's what happens. It'll drop a little, it'll climb, and it's just patience. The name of the game is patience. And we are absolutely, as we see with these central bankers, you know, uh, in this global economy, how they're balancing the, their currency and, and impacting the dollar. We are absolutely, I'm going to hold that silver to my camera again. We're absolutely doing the right thing. Silver, $27 an ounce. That is so exciting. I can't, I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. I wouldn't be surprised if